Okay, I'm going to try and cover the most important parts of the standard model. Um, so let's say that this top circle is a proton. Okay, proton. And at the basic level, proton contains three quarks. It's a baryon, so it contains just quarks, three quarks. And two quarks are up. What I'm going to do is color the quarks because they have a color charge. So I'm going to say that there's an up quark, and this one happens to be red, and there's a, a down quark which happens to be green and there's a, another up quark which happens to be blue and all up the uh, proton is color neutral you put those three colors together you get white no color okay now let's quickly put a key in my keys over here so first of all just basically you got bosons and you got fermions and you got hadrons which can be either bosons or fermions so the bosons are the photon the w plus minus z uh, the gluon uh, it's all I bother with and they all have spin one because they're bosons Okay, the fermions all have a spin half, and uh, they can be leptons, which are the electron and neutrinos, or they can be quarks. And I'm only interested in the up and down quark, as you can see there. Now some bosons are hadrons and they are mesons and these mesons have two quarks and I'm only interested in the pi mesons which are the light ones which make up protons and neutrons you got neutral plus and minus and then you got baryons and they are protons which are made up of three quarks protons and neutrons so the mesons are made up of just two quarks and the baryons are made up of three quarks and they're hadrons because they're composite partic particles the elementary particle is, is the quark and the leptons and these are the force carriers, the bosons. Okay, so, so that's fair enough. And then one more key for the flavors, which I'm interested in the up, which has got a charge of two thirds, and the anti up, which has got a charge of negative two thirds, and the down, which has got a charge of negative a third. And the anti down, which has got a charge of plus a third. Okay, and as I said, 
uh, remembering the full distance of the circle the full diameter of the circle is one so these are spin half particles because their magnitude is half right so there's your quark and I'm also going to put in an anti-quark which will have a spin half as well add them together you get a, a one spin and that'll be a meson or a pion which is the light, lightest meson so which is a boson okay so that's the proton now these quarks this each quark has an anti quark and makes up a that becomes a neutral pion so you can see down is negative a third and I want a neutral pion so I need positive a third so that's going to have to be an anti down plus a third minus a third is neutral and the color is going to be anti green and what is anti green anti green is magenta so it's going to be a down anti I mean it's going to be a anti down which is positive a third and it's going to be have a color force of magenta okay so that's the pion just so I'm basically saying that's a pion a neutral pion now I'm also going to say that this is a neutral pion so therefore it's it's a meson it must have two quarks so anti blue is actually yellow so anti blue so that's another meson it's called the neutral pion but notice it's got a different um, way of getting a neutral charge up anti up instead of down anti down and finally I'm going to put in a, a positive pion Okay, so how does it get a plus one charge? Up is already two thirds here, so I need another third, so it's going to have to be anti down and anti red. Anti red is that color, cyan. What would I say? It's got to be an anti down, yeah. Okay, so that's the last meson. Okay, so you've got three quarks, you've also got three pions. Overall charge is plus one. So that's a proton. And how does a proton turn into a neutron? Well, if there aren't any neutrons around for it to bind to, it's going to want to turn into a neutron and it does it through the by turning its up quark into a down quark and in the process it's going to produce a, a positive W boson. Remember, this is kinetic energy. Oops. That's negative. That's one. So the big W boson, it's got a massive, it's 80 times the mass of the proton and it's going to produce a I mean I mean decay into a right-handed positron 
and a left-handed neutrino okay so I'm I'm showing time is heading this way yeah yeah what about the neutron what if it can't find any protons in the nucleus and so it wants to turn into a proton well then it's going to first of all I better make a neutron so here's a neutron neutrons also made of three quarks there are two down and one up quark so you can see here you got uh, two down and one up that would be negative a third plus negative a third plus two thirds that will make it neutral so again I'm going to say that this is it oops this is a down this quark green its color charge is green its flavor is is uh, down which is negative a third and the final one is going to be because I've got two downs so I need an up and that's going to be red the color charge on that will be red so you've got the three colors so it's neutral color all up and it's neutral charge as well and what about the meson well meson spin one it's a boson so it's that total length there and you need an anti-green so it's going to be magenta and it's going to be an anti-down it's got to be a neutral one so it's going to be a neutral pion and this one's going to be a positive pion and this one's going to be a negative pion that's how the proton turned into a neutron it just changed that neutral pion into a negative pion and we want the anti color for blue this negative pion anti blue is yellow see all the color charges so it's anti up I mean yeah is it got to be negative anti up is negative two thirds down is negative a third so it's negative one all up so that, that meson oops that meson is negative one that one's neutral okay and I've got one to go this one here and it's gonna have a anti quark which is going to be anti red which is yeah uh, anti red which is magenta I mean cyan and it's already got an up it needs to be positive so the up is two thirds I need another third so this is going to be cyan anti down okay so that's a neutron and what about the gluons well the gluons are basically it's a, it's a gluon it's another gluon it's a third gluon fourth gluon fifth gluon sixth gluon and there's another two which I haven't put in so you've got one 
two, three, four, five, six glorns. I'm only putting in six of the eight. Okay. Now, how does a neutron turn into a proton? It turns that, like I said, it turns that down quark into an up quark. And to do that, it produces a W minus boson. W minus the mass 80 times that of its nucleon and then it spits out a it's got to get rid of that negative charge so it spits out a left handed electron and oops we say it's going backwards in time because it's an antiparticle so it spits out a right handed anti neutrino remember I said time's going this way and notice that the electron's left handed and the and up here the uh, neutrino is left handed so and this is only left handed decays so um, for the weak force so this blue stuff is the weak force Now let's say you got a protons can find neutrons and the neutrons can find protons in the nucleus then how do they stick together? It's said that they play football so you get this these are the the neutral pions that play football that one and, and the other one and, then, and they just throw a ball throw them pions backwards and forwards to each other and it creates a, a force which holds them together so that's if, if there's an equal number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus then that's how they stick together but also protons can stick to each other and neutrons can stick to each other because it's not a question of charge it's a question of um, conserved momentum really So that one's called the nuclear force or the res residual strong force and I've already described the, the color force it's with all, all the colors basically you notice the color force can't it's confined color confinement confined to the nucleons And, and these gluons basically are, um, move between quarks and change the colors of the quarks and so you get a color rotation only the colors rotate That's everything. Hmm. Yeah, according to relativistic slide rule, this distance here is L squared over T, which is flux. And it's said that the gluon is a magnetic flux tube. So that's a coincidence. And notice that this um, is actually it's, it's two times that length is actually two times L squared over T and and if you do relativistic addition of velocities then you can either say that which is Einstein's velocity addition 
or equivalently you can say um, this over gamma which is equivalent to just saying you add these two velocities together and multiply by epsilon and that can't exceed one it's always got to be less than one so you could say the confinement is due to the fact that um, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light so the, this, these um, gluons are confined anyway 